What is up guys, welcome back to more Oxygen Not Included. The last episode went surprisingly well until I realized that we're almost out of food. We've got like a day worth of food left. So we're gonna have to really get on making some food today. I mean that is if we don't want to starve to death. Uh, we've also got this stupid shine bug that we really need to get out of our bedroom. How do I keep this door? Let's open the door and then hopefully the bug will slowly work its way out of the bedroom. What is this green stuff? They're disinfecting? Do they always do that? I'm not sure why they're just disinfecting stuff. Where's the germ? Let's look at germs. Well, they are doing a pretty good job, because it's looking very clean, other than Frankie. Or, I'm sorry, that's Harold. Who is now running away, not washing his hands. How many... Germs does he have? Where do I- germs. Germs tab. Wow. Hold on. 27% of Harold's exposures to these germs. I, okay, so I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding, but I'm taking that to mean that he's basically got a 25% chance of getting food poisoning. Uh, that's not good. Maybe we should order Frankie to, um, go wash his hands. Or, I'm sorry, Harold. I keep calling Harold Frankie. If I say Frankie and I'm talking about Harold, just correct me in your head. Harold, go wash your damn hands, you filthy animal. I'm pretty sure there's a skill that we can get to, the, the hard digging skill. Who's our digger? One of our guys is good at digging. I can't remember. I think it actually might be Frankie, the actual real Frankie. With a real Frankie, please show me your skills. Okay, I think they all have a skill point and I'm sitting here not using them. What the hell do these hearts mean? Frankie is interested in hard digging and will receive a morale bonus for learning it. Okay. I don't know what morale is used for. But it sounds good. It sounds like a good thing to have. Frankie, you're a hard digger. Good job. Gene is good at machinery. What's the machinery skill? Operating? Improved tinkering. It's just plus two to machinery, I guess. I think we have to do that. Let's go ahead and give Gene... Improve tinkering. Rowan, what do you like? You like researching? Supercomputer usage. And plus two to science so we can research stuff faster. I think we go ahead and do that. Harold. Um, that farming thing. That thing that gives us food. Yeah, we're probably going to need that Like, coming up real fast here. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and change our priorities a little bit. I want to make sure Harold is the one doing the farming. Wait, Frankie's good at farming. I thought Frankie was good at digging. Hold on, who is good at digging? Somebody is good at digging. I'm confused. Frankie's not good at digging, he just likes to do it. He sucks at digging. I mean, okay, to be fair, he's the best at digging that we have, but he's still bad at it. He does like, he is actually pretty good at farming though. So Frankie and Harold will both do farming. That's fine, we can have two farmers. I don't, don't, I don't see any problems with that. Uh, but let's make sure that nobody else is. And let's set that stuff to super duper high priority. Like, the highest of priorities here. I also want to make sure that there's not any, like, plants or stuff that we could be eating that we just haven't picked up yet, or, or seeds. That looks like food. Make sure we go grab that. That looks delicious. It's like a swampy potato. Whatever this is. Harvested muck root. Let's harvest, or let's harvest that muck root there. Yeah, okay, I think, I think, oh, look at all these plants, guys. We're not gonna starve, at least not today. Let's harvest all of this stuff. I don't know what any of it is. Oh, shoot, look at all these, these cracks. I know that there's stuff where the tiles are cracked. So maybe let's build tiles there. All right, let's make sure we got priority set so we can get, like, all this important stuff taken care of. I think making this growing room bigger is pretty important. I think pretty much all this stuff is very important and then i think this stuff is also pretty important but not quite as important i think all this stuff will be pretty important uh and then we need like a kitchen of sorts where where we actually make the food holy crap apparently had a big rock fall i uh i missed that well let's get that off of the oxygen diffuser that seems bad all right guys so i just did a bunch of stuff Building the, a bunch of more planter boxes. Yeah, we've got a ton of stuff to do here. Uh, so I'm just gonna fast forward and see how they do. We, yeah, we really have to get this food situation under control. Come on, I'm hoping that there's like some, some muck root, some like food or something 
in these cracked tiles. It doesn't really look like it. Looks like we're getting a bunch of sandstone. Okay, yeah, I, I see now the huge mistake that I've made. I've spent a bunch of time <laughs> having them build all these planter boxes and dig all this stuff out, and we're not getting any seeds. But I know that we have seeds laying around, so we just have to get them. We did get some food somewhere. We're up to 8,000 calories now. Yeah, we got a bunch of muck root somewhere. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about that. Yeah, and look at all this stuff that we're harvesting. Look at this. Okay, we've got stuff now. It appears that we will not be starving today. So I really don't have any plans for what we're doing with research. Uh, I think I, I'm just gonna knock out all of like the tier one stuff because I, I don't know what to do. It seems like not the worst plan. I mean, they're tier one for a reason. I think wire bridges are gonna start to become pretty important. So let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, and we've got a uh, printing pod thing available. All right, let's see. I see we've got brine here. I don't... <laughs> salty water. I'm not sure that we need salty water right now. I don't know what I would do with that. Now I see that Joshua over here has got twinkle toes and uh, he's got cooking, which we're gonna need to cook before too long, but I don't know. I think maybe grabbing another person right now is not a good idea. I think maybe it's best if we just stick with the four that we have and we reject all this time. I mean, we could take the brine. I, I don't know, like, what is that? 2,000 kilograms of... Is that just going to appear in my base somewhere? I don't... I don't know what this is. Do I grab it? I just, I don't know what 2,000 kilograms of brine is going to look like. I almost want to do it just to see. You know what? Let's do it. Let's, let's take the risk. Hopefully it doesn't just, like, flood my base. Okay, it's in a bottle. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, can we just store that somewhere for now? Yeah, let's just... Wait. What is it gonna do? They're not gonna empty it, are they? I don't think I want them to empty the bottle. I just want them to move it off the floor. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just see what happens. Let's keep planting stuff as we get more seeds. We got another blossom seed. It, the other one seems to be doing well, so I think we continue planting those. And then uh, I'm wondering, like, do we get more seeds after these things grow? Or do I have to find seeds somewhere else? I have no idea. You know, I, I feel like we need to expand this room to build more toilets and sinks. I'm a little bit worried about this, um... <laughs> big uh, lake of water here. Maybe we should dig over and then down to make the water go down a little bit and then we can expand this hallway. I think that's what we do. That sounds like a smart plan. Let's dig this way. Dig all the way over there. And then we'll dig down. We're gonna dig like all this out, I think. Okay, yeah, and we're, we're out of power. That's pretty bad. That means we're not making oxygen. We still have plenty down here, though, that just hasn't worked its way up yet. And this bug still... Do we just kill this thing? Just kill it. I'm so tired of... Hey, Harold, hold on. Kill this stupid bug, please. I think we'll, we'll grab jumbo batteries soon so that Gene can, you know, charge them up and then spend more time away from the hamster wheel. Oh, yeah, look at... That looks delicious. This is what we need, these little lice. Let's harvest that. Delicious. And we've got a bunch, like, we've got eggs. It's incubating. I don't know what's gonna pop out of that egg. Or if there's anything we can do with it. But I'm curious to see what comes out of it. Guess we need to uh, grab more research. So I know we don't need any medicine right now, but it really seems like the thing that you wanna get before you need it. So let's go ahead and grab the pharmacology. Oh, and look at all the mealwood seed we have now. Oh, look at that. We've got our first plant ready for harvest. We're doing it. Oh, and he's doing it automatically. I don't even have to give the order. That is awesome. What is wrong with this thing? This plant requires light. So it only grows when this thing is over on this side? I don't... Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, so maybe we need to invest in, like, some growing lights or something. Wait a second. What happened to my water pump? 
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> we definitely need water. Let's get that built again, I guess. Dig that away. And let's set that to super high priority. Okay, and here's what we're going for. We're collecting lice off of those mealwood plants, and we're going to turn them into loaves. Loaves of lice. Lice loaf. Uh, delicious. That is going to be what keeps us from starving to death. Alright, so this might be a bad idea, but I really want to dig out some more spaces for toilets and sinks, because I feel like this is becoming a problem. And this stupid bug, how... Can I make them kill this thing? There's no priority to it. That bug needs to die. It's keeping us awake. Man, we are just knocking out the research. Our dude Rowan is uh, pretty smart. Now, isn't there some kind of grow light that we can get? Is that a thing? I mean, I see lights here. I don't know if those can be used for growing, but I think we're going to try it. Uh-oh. Oh, she's going to engage that stupid bug in combat. Oh, it had a little baby. Oh, okay, that's the shine nymph. That little egg that we found. That's what those are. All right, we have our micro musher built. Let's, uh, let's make some lice loaf. Quality terrible. Well, how do you know? It's not even made yet. I'm not sure how many to make. We've got about two days worth of food right now. Okay, we, we only have 3,000 kilocalories of lice loaf, so we can only make two? I guess, I guess we'll do two, and we'll see where that gets us. That does not seem like a lot. All right, we killed the baby shine nymph. Now maybe we can actually get some sleep. And let's close, let's, let's auto close that door. Oh, and that one that we had died, shoot. That one shine nymph that was in here, that sucks. Oh, well, we got our research complete, so we can try building a light in there. I have my doubts that that will actually work. I, th I think let's lock, we've got one more tier one research. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Let's get a water cooler for them to stand around and talk. That'll be pretty cool. Hold up, Frankie. What do you think you're doing? Can I make it so only one person will do this? I can't. I just have to tell Frankie that he's not allowed to operate machinery. And Harold, too. I don't know what else he won't do. So now only Jean is allowed to operate the machinery. She's in charge of running on the hamster wheel. Nobody else. Just don't do it. So see, we're quickly breathing this oxygen and we're just filling it up with carbon dioxide down here. That's a little worrisome. But I guess uh, we've got pretty decent production, so maybe I shouldn't be too worried about it. It does seem that we aren't producing enough oxygen. But we're at max gas pressure up here, so I'm not sure what to do about that. I think we just need to dig so that these things run more often. So who's in charge of cooking? Somebody has some cuisine skill, I thought. No, I guess nobody knows how to cook, really. I'm not sure what assigning hats does. Does that mean that they'll only do that? I don't, I don't want that. I'm not ready for that. They, they need to be doing more than one job at this point. And how do I make them empty this? Come on, guys. Both of our bathrooms are almost full. Somebody has to be the one to empty those disgusting outhouses. I don't care who does it, but somebody's got to do it. How's our germ overlay looking? Actually, pretty good. We have done a pretty decent job. Oh, I know why. Because I haven't built a compost pile. I thought I did that, but apparently I forgot. All right. My fault. My bad, guys. They're not doing it because there's no place to empty it. Let's put it in the corner. And then I think we're supposed to build a sink to go along with that. Where is that? We'll build a wash basin, and let's make these high priority. All right, guys, I feel like I have a really bad feeling that I'm overlooking something very important and that it's going to catch me by surprise when it reaches, like, a critical threshold and then everybody's just going to die, like, all of a sudden. But I can't tell what it is. I don't know. If I can't identify what the problem is, then there's just nothing I can do about it, and I'll just die because I'm bad. So we could try building some of these lamps, maybe. And see if those help our plants grow. I don't know if it actually works that way. Or if there's like a specific grow light that we need. But we're going to find out. Another research complete. Rowan is killing it. So we've got... 
We have all of the tier one research complete, which for me is kind of bad because now I actually have to make a decision. <laughs> I've been able to just get by doing tier one research, not having to think about it. And now I actually have to make a decision and deal with the consequences of that decision. Water into oxygen, hydrogen, that's pretty cool. Sanitation seems like it'll be pretty important. Yeah, once we start doing these other uh, researches... Uh? Researches? Yeah, once we start doing these other researches... We're gonna have to actually start doing some complicated stuff. You know what I kind of feel like... Is an easy thing to, to uh, get our feet wet... Is the sanitation. So we can get like running water, toilets, showers, sinks... Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so I think having all this stuff at high priority is wasting too much time. They're spending way, way too much time going up and down that ladder. Wow, that lice loaf looks <laughs> pretty disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. I would not be happy about eating that, but I also would not be very happy about starving, so... Okay, so... I see that Frankie's playing in the poopy dirt right now, and I think our wash basin does not have water, so... He is about to be covered in some disgusting germs and not wash his hands. I hope that this is not a problem. <laughs> He's spreading a lot of germs right now. Man, I can't believe how fast this research is going. I feel like several times a day I'm having to come into the research panel to uh, decide on more researches. I think maybe we do meal preparation so we can build like a, an actual kitchen in a mess hall. So let's go ahead and do that next. Oh, we've got a, uh, I don't know how long this has been sitting here waiting for me. Let's check this out. Alright, so I see that we've got somebody with creativity and cuisine, which we don't have either of those. Uh, it seems like the traits are pretty good. Can't do research, that's not a, really a problem. I'm kind of thinking of taking another person right now. But, you know, <laughs> now that I think about it, that means we have to build another bed and more bathrooms, which we're already having a lot of trouble with. I think we're gonna reject all. Or no, actually, let's take the care package. Let's take the eggs. I think that should be fine. As long as they have to wait to be incubated and I don't have to worry about them hatching just spontaneously, I think it'll be fine. We can print the eggs and we can store them somewhere. All right, guys, we've made it to the 10th day. I'm actually really surprised that I'm still alive and there seems to be no like major emergencies at the moment. There's not anything that I'm particularly worried about. Uh, although I am mildly worried about basically everything. So I'm gonna end the episode here. We'll pick it back up next time and continue this apparently monumental task of expanding the bathrooms. Thank you all for joining, and I'll see you in the next video.